Hey guys, I'm the junior. I'm in the uh, Taiwan. In Taiwan, 4% of the population works in China. And with the whole virus thing, most of them came back to Taiwan. So you, and Taiwan is the second most densely populated country on the planet Earth. It means more people in a small area. So Taiwan should be one of the hardest hit countries by COVID. But in actuality, in actuality, it's one of the least hardest hit countries in the world. And why is that? One reason is because the government uh, was quick to respond to the rumors of a virus heading out of uh, Wuhan and they uh, monitored each and every person that came back. They gave people house quarantines. And they, they just tell people if you come back from an affected area, which now includes America, if you come back from one of these areas, you have to stay in your house for 14 days. And they phone your house daily to make sure that you're there. And if you don't answer the phone, you're in trouble. So, yeah. One sec. Watch So, uh, it, it's just, it's interesting. It's, it's so crazy. And the same thing is, is true for Vietnam. Vietnam borders China. And Vietnam has like almost no cases. Another thing is, they say that there's, this is, could be a lie because China lies constantly. But they say that there's no cases in, in the major, extremely dense cities in China, like Beijing. Like, the people, there were a lot of people in Wuhan who had the virus, but in the major cities like Beijing, there's like no outbreaks, which doesn't make sense. There's a lot of things that are suspicious, but I'm not, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories or whatnot, but it's, it's just interesting. And it's always interesting to look at something from every point of view. And I don't understand why people don't do that. I've said, I, got, I, got, I was really pissed off recently because I put up a post on Facebook and someone had like a theory about COVID. It was just a theory. And uh, I put it up on Facebook because I thought it was interesting. And then people, not, like, I don't, people were, say, were saying idiot. And they were talking about the guy who came up, who had the theory, who's a, literally like a PhD scientist. And they're calling him an idiot. And that's okay, I don't mind that. They disagree with him, whatever. It's kind of silly to call someone uh, with a much higher level of education than themselves an idiot, but nonetheless. And then, to top it off, they started calling me an idiot just for sharing his theory. I didn't even say if I agreed with it or not. I just shared a theory that I thought was interesting, and then people are calling me an idiot. Those people are truly stupid. People, you know you're truly stupid when you insult anyone that has any ideas or theories or whatever that are even a little bit different than your own, and then you're like, it's just, I look at everyone's theories. I read, I read the arguments on both sides. I had a lot of fun reading about flat earthers. Like I've read their 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 theories and their proofs and whatnot. I've read them. I've taken the time because it's interesting. It's interesting to see what they think and why they think it. So many people are just like, well, how could they think that? That's so stupid. And then they don't look at why they think it. I'm not a flat earther. I don't believe in it, obviously. But I'm not so stupid as to refuse to read about it. I'm not so, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. It's not really stupid. Myopic. Yeah, myopic, there you go. It's because it's not, it makes sense. I can understand, like, you're like, it's obviously bullshit, so why would I waste my time reading about it? Because it's interesting, it's interesting. Why wouldn't you want to know the opposite, because you believe one thing and the opposition believes another thing. So why wouldn't you want to learn about their point of view so you could understand them better, so you could understand where they're coming from? And then it's all the better to um, argue with them. It's like all these people, like, there's a certain topic, I'm not going to say what the topic is, but there's a certain topic where I, f I lean to the left and other people lean to the right. And then the people who lean to the right are always telling me why I'm wrong. And I'm like, yeah, but have you looked at any of this stuff? And they're like, no, I don't want to look at it. And I'm like, yeah, but you're telling me you're so certain that you're right and I'm wrong. But when I show you evidence, or documentaries on the topic, you literally refuse to even watch them? I don't, like, if they did the same thing with me, if they're like, here, watch this documentary on wh why we're right, I would watch it. <laughs> and But when I say, here, watch a documentary on why I'm right, they're like, no, 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 I'm not going to watch it. People, like, work 
hard to keep their own views and they absolutely refuse to even glance at anything that might affect their views in any way. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, he's a cutie. Don't keep, don't bother him again. Anyway, so that's there, there, that's my video. COVID. Ninja bear.